Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today. Sorry if you're bored of seeing me in this outfit and this makeup look. I finally had a chance to like film like a good couple of videos that I've had like ideas for and stuff. So you're probably gonna see this outfit and this makeup in like, I think it's like four videos I've filmed. So yeah, hopefully you're not too bored of it yet. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, for today's video, as you probably know by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my project pan for the month or like for like just over a month because I'm going to be doing it until like I actually finish the product unless I get like very bored of using a product or I decide I just like completely don't like a product then I'm just going to either give it away or if it's like out of date I'm just going to throw it um but yeah I've got my basket full of stuff here so we're just going to go through them I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to be using and then I think like midway through like the month or when I start to see like a significant amount of progress I'm going to show you guys where I'm at with my project pan and then obviously when I finish the products I'll show you guys what products I finished what I've swapped in for them and yeah I'm really really trying to like make my way through some of my makeup so I can buy new makeup because I definitely want to expand my collection a little bit more with new brands and yeah just try out some new makeup but I don't want to do that until I've used some of my old stuff because my drawers are just way too full at the minute way too full so let's get straight on in to the video anyway so for starters I'm going to show you guys my skincare bits that I want to empty because I'm including them in the project pan so the first thing I really want to end uh, empty <laughs> empty is this ordinary like serum solution thing it's the argyrolene or argyrolene i don't know how you say it solution the 10 percent one that targets like fine lines i'm so close to finishing this i'll just show you so obviously i only use it in like certain areas i use it like under my eyes and like where my crow's feet would be but i haven't actually got crow's feet yet touch wood also I like my forehead because I feel like I could very easily get wrinkles on my forehead because I like do this a lot and like this a lot and you know yeah I also use it a little bit on my smile lines here just to like hopefully prevent them a little bit yeah so I only use it in like certain areas and you really don't need a lot of it so I'm hoping I'll be able to finish this like within the month maybe a little bit longer but definitely going to be emptying it soon nevertheless then I'm also hoping to finish this simple SOS clearing booster. I didn't think this did anything for my skin and then I had really, really, really bad breakouts. I think it's because of the masks and I know that that sounds so stupid, but I barely ever get spots like around my jawline here. Like I often get spots down here, but mostly my spots are on my forehead. That's usually where I get them or on my chin. These were like literally like around here, like in this area, like even around here. Like I never get spots there. Like, and I use this and it definitely helped clear them up. So I think I'll actually keep buying this, but I'm gonna finish this one off first and see if, if I stopped using it, if like my like pimples and stuff stayed away just to see whether this actually was doing anything. But I'm pretty sure that this actually helped fight against my pimples and stuff so then i'm going to try and empty this symbiosis london aha and rna glycolic acid thing me bob it's it says it's an overnight eye serum but then it says to use it morning or night so i'm literally just going to use it as my normal like, eye cream i really enjoyed using this because it's very very light and i really don't have to use it a lot it just blends into my skin so nicely and I enjoy using it. I actually really like using it. But this is a super, super, super expensive eye cream. I didn't buy it. No, 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 sir. I do not have that much money. I got it out of my glossy box. So I thought I would just try and use it up. So yeah, I'm trying to use that up. And then the next thing I want to empty is this Simple Water Boost Hydrating Gel Cream. I've just recently started using this and I really like it. My skin kind of soaks this up like instantly because it's like a water gel cream. It's really, really nice. And because it's by Simple, they don't really use too much in their like moisturizers and stuff. So I really like it. It says it's for dehydrated dry skin, but I use it 
and I and I'm fine like if you don't know I have really oily skin people that have been subscribed to my channel or just watch my channel in general will know that they're probably bored of hearing me say it but yeah I'm hoping I can like get at least halfway down on most of those products so that was skin kit and I'm gonna move on to primers the two primers that i really really want to use up is the benefit professional primer this primer is so so close to being emptied but because i have to use so little of it and i don't use it every day it's gonna be a bit hard to use up but that's how much i have left and maybe even a little bit lower than that so like literally like probably a third of the product left but obviously i only use it on my nose and on my forehead sometimes i use it on my cheeks too um but i don't like to use this every single day because i feel like it clogs my pores up like it is a pore filling primer and i feel like if i don't clean my face like my makeup off properly i feel like my pores just look so much bigger when i like use this so i will probably when i do my makeup probably use this like every other day or like once every three days or something like that or maybe if my skin's feeling overly oily then i will use this um so yeah i'm really hoping i'll be able to empty it though because i just don't really need it in my collection anymore but i don't want to just throw it either and then the next thing is the revolution pro hydro matte primer so i really really like this primer don't get me wrong i am going to be sad to see it go and i definitely think i'll buy another one definitely think I do think I'll buy another one once I've like cleared out some of my primers and stuff because it's just a really hydrating primer. I really like it, but I feel like it doesn't make me too oily too quick. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you how far down this is, but can you kind of see it's like halfway down? Can you kind of see the shadow there? That's kind of where it's it is it's like halfway down maybe even a little bit lower i do think i'll be able to use this up in a month like i really don't think that'll take me that long because that's a primer i literally can use every single day if i do my makeup every single day that is i don't like to do my makeup every single day i like to let my skin breathe <laughs> um believe it or not i don't do my makeup every day even though i'm like a massive makeup junkie so then i'm going to move on to concealers i've got two concealers here I've got the L'Oreal Infall... Oh, <laughs> camera focus. Yay. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. And I've also got the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I've got this in here because it needs using up. But I actually don't really like it. I haven't used it on my under eyes for a while, I'll be honest. But every time I've used it on my under eyes, I've not liked it. It's creased straight away. It's not set very nicely. So most of the time... I'm probably just going to use this on my um, eyelids to um, carve out my brows and stuff like this. But this concealer I actually really like and I do use it on my under eyes. I really like it. It's got really, really good coverage. Blends out really nicely. It doesn't crease under my eyes too much. It does crease a little bit. I, like, I have creases under my eyes, so it's bound to crease. But it doesn't crease too much under my eyes. So... I don't know how much of this one I'll be able to use up, but I'm hoping I'll be able to use this up in like a month, maybe two months. Okay, and then the foundation that I'm going to try and use up is the Collection Lasting Perfection 16 Hour Wear Concealer, the oil free one. I actually really like this foundation. I don't think I'll buy it again. It's just a really cheap foundation. It's okay, and the shade range is poor. <laughs> um it's an it's an okay foundation like i didn't mind it i brought it because some people were like hyping it up and i decided to try out myself um there is like a gap in the in the top like here i don't know if you can see it's kind of hard to see because where the light is actually hitting it but there is like a gap here but i do think there's actually still quite a fair bit of product left in here so i think i'll be able to use it up within the month though if i did do my makeup like every day so the powder that i really want to use up is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder i've already hit pan on this it's like got a pretty big dent in it i think i could probably use this up within like a couple of weeks i really don't think it would take me that long to empty this i have to use a lot of powder anyway i have to touch up throughout the day and yeah this powder truthfully isn't the best i don't really think it's the best i don't feel like it sets my face properly sometimes i feel like i have to go in with other powders as well but on days where i've got like a full like fully matte foundation i do feel like i can use this and i do get away with it and it does 
keep my foundation on. The bronzer that I want to use up is the Collection Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer. Again, I've hit a pan on this in the middle there. Uh, I still think it's going to take me a while to use this up, but I'm going to try my best and I think I'll be able to finish this within like two months. I do think I could do that. So hopefully, hopefully I can. Okay, the angle might have changed just a little bit. I really, 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 really needed a drink. So <laughs> that's where, that's where I went. <laughs> The next product that I'm going to want to use up is the Milani Luminoso blush. I love this blush and I have other blushes that I've used more than this one. This one is a baked blush so it's domed on the top like that. I've literally, it looks like I've hardly used it but I've used it so much you just don't have to use a lot of it. But yeah, I'm really hoping to make a big hefty dent in this for a while. I love this blush. I decided to pick a blush that I knew I wouldn't get bored of using. I mean, eventually I'll probably want to switch it up a little bit, but I'm hoping if I use this for like a month, I'll make a big enough dent in it and then I'll swap in another blush and then probably go back to this one. And that's my plan, you know, but um, these are the products I'm really, really gonna try and empty. Hence why I'm leaving them in a basket on my desk. <laughs> okay, and then highlighter. So there's two highlighters I have here. So, the first highlighter that I really want to try and empty is the Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. I feel like this is too intense for me and I like to use it on my inner corner on my brow bone. That's why I put it in here because sometimes I forget to do that. Sometimes I'll just use whatever's in my eyeshadow palette, which honestly it works like, you know. But this one is really, really good for my inner corner on my brow bone. I love it for those areas. Also, if ever I'm feeling just like I really, really, really want to beam to the gods, I can always just use this highlighter. So that's why this one is in the project pan. And then the next highlighter that I really want to use up is the Milani, uh, Milani, <laughs> the Balm Mary Luminizer. <laughs> so this one, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I don't think you will. Actually, no, you kind of can. Can you see like the pan, like the, the uh, end dents of the pan if i face it that way you can kind of see it i'm actually close to hitting pan on this highlighter so i must have come for a stage of really really liking it but i don't recall using it that much like i i have it on today it obviously glows like you know um i do like it but i just it's not one that i often reach for so the fact that it has like a dent in it i'm actually surprised so yeah i think i'll be able to hit pan on this highlighter and I've never in my life, oh wait, that's a lie, I have hit pan on a highlighter. I hit pan on one of my Soph highlighters. Okay, and then the mascara that I am hoping to use up, I think I'll have to throw it before I have a chance to actually use it up. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This one is the false, false, <laughs> false lash effect mascara um i've had this for a little while now and it's gonna be coming up to its expiry date i used it and left it to dry up a little bit because it was transferring i'm gonna use it and see if it transfers on my makeup on like a day where i'm sat in the house where it wouldn't really matter if it transferred um but i'm hoping it's not gonna transfer now that it's dried up a little bit but obviously i opened it you have six months to use up a mascara so yeah i'm going to try and empty this as best as I can. I don't think I'll be able to completely empty it, but I'm really hoping I'll be at least able to like use it enough where it wasn't a waste. And then the last product that is gonna be in my project pan is the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Orange Palette. I'm not sure if you can still get this palette anymore, which is why it's going in the project pan. So it's just the like warm toned orange shades in this palette. It did used to smell like chocolate orange but literally now it just smells like eyeshadow this has a 12 month uh life span i've definitely had this for over 12 months i'm not even going to lie about it it's definitely out of date but it's powder so i kind of don't know how like powder products go out of date i don't know like that's just my logic i know it goes on my eyes but i've never had problems before so i have it on my eyes today my eyes don't feel like they're burning my eyes don't feel like they're itching so i'm not that worried um but yeah i really really want to at least hit pan on a couple of these shades i just never reach for this palette so i decided to put it in our project pan 
and try and use it up because it's coming up into summer now and I feel like I'd be able to get a fair few views out of some of these shades in summer. I feel like it's a bit more of an autumnal palette but yeah I do think I'll be able to hit pan on a few shades at least. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So that is all of my project pan makeup products. I'm really, really, really hoping I can hit pan on a few of them. I've obviously hit pan on a couple of them already, but I think I can, I think I can make some big, big dents in these products. So I'm really hoping, camera, please focus on me. Hello there. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to hit pan on a few of those products. I've been really excited to do this. I did a project pan before, but you guys never saw it because it never got posted because it all went wrong. And I did it for a month and then lost my footage. So I'm doing this one a little bit different. Yeah, I just really want to use up some of my makeup products. Like that's literally it. And I feel like this is a good way to do it. Last time it really motivated me to get up, want to do my makeup. And then the fact that I was ready, I was like, what can we go do today? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just feel like project pans are fun, you know? And a lot of my makeup products are gonna go out of date. Like, if not, they already are in date. So I'm in date, out of date. <laughs> so I am really, really gonna try and use up some of my products this year. I'm gonna try to use up as many products as I can before I buy new products. Cause I feel like that's my problem. feel like I like to buy makeup too often like I buy it quicker than I can use it like I can't use up enough products so I'm going to try and not buy any products until I've at least emptied some of these products in this basket and then maybe I'll buy some more but like I'm gonna try not to I feel like I have enough in my collection where I can keep making videos and it still be fun and it not be like the same things all the time, but not have to like constantly have new products coming in. I also have a glossy box subscription, so I will probably have new makeup products coming in that sometimes. I'll probably be able to just sprinkle in every now and again. So yeah, I think I'll be able to refrain from buying makeup for a little bit. I might just have to start buying clothes <laughs> instead. Um, I have been doing my house up recently as well. So that's where my money has been going to be fair, so. Yeah, sorry that was a bit long-winded, but that's my thought process. But that's where I'm gonna leave today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get to see like updates on how I'm going with my project pan. Um, I'm actually really excited. I know it probably sounds stupid, but I'm excited to get rid of some of the products in my makeup collection. I feel like I have far too much in there now. Like certain drawers I just dread opening. Like I know that sounds stupid, but I'm like, oh, I don't know what to use. There's just so much in here. So yeah, I, oh, my laptop's trying to do something. Go away. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try my best at emptying some of these products and I'm excited about it. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you head on out. It's free and if you want to see more from me, it's the best way to get notified when I upload. And if you ever get bored of my content, you're always free to unsubscribe. Make sure you leave a like if you didn't enjoy the video and... Leave a comment if you do project pans. I would actually love to know who, who does them, you know? I like watching project pan videos, so. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that video here, guys, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye. My outros are always so long, man. Like, outros are just not my forte.